At this time, I've had the two of our congregation come forward to the children's message. Good morning, young ones. How many of you have ever been blind? Oh, wow, no hands. Okay, good. All right, how many of you have ever been in a cave before? A cave? It's a hole in the ground? You go, <laughs> all right. Well, there are some caves not too far from where you live, and you can go in, and you can walk around, and some of them have huge rooms bigger than our sanctuary. And there is no light at all. You can't feel, you, you, you can't see, you, you couldn't see the hand right in, right in front of your face. You could feel wind or the presence of your skin. Your skin's pretty perceptive. But when that happens, all of your other senses go on high alert. Because your brain's trying to tell you there's something wrong. Even if you close your eyes, you can still see a little light peek through your lids. Being blind is really hard. In fact, some people who are blind, did you know that the woman who painted our nursery is legally blind? Many years ago, Pastor Fred's almost been here 20 years, just before I came, she painted that whole nursery and she couldn't do anything else in the world well, but she could still paint because she had just enough sight. Well, some people can't see at all. They can't see anything at all. And yet they can still know who Jesus is Physical blindness is kind of a problem, but it's not that big of a deal. You can still function in life. Spiritual blindness is when we talk about how you can't see what your God wants you to do. You can't even see your Savior. That's terrifying. Because you don't know where to go in life. You don't know what to do. Audrey. Audrey asked, if you are blind and you go to heaven, are you not blind then? Could, could you see? And the answer is, yes. When you go to heaven, all that's wrong with your body, no matter what it is, there's not much wrong with your bodies because you're young and wonderful, but it'll all be restored. Your God tells you that you get everything back again. We sang a song, but we didn't sing, we heard a song yesterday in a funeral that said the only scars in heaven are the ones on Jesus. Because they're glorious. And uh, they show that he died for your sins and he loves you. When there will be no blindness. So let's fold our hands and pray. Dear Jesus, please take away our spiritual blindness. Open our eyes of faith so that we can see how much you love us. Lead us back into the Bible over and over again so we can see more clearly all the promises that you've given us to protect and to care for us. Amen. You're excused to go to your Sunday school class. Mm -hmm.